Hey YouTubers, today um, we're going to take a good look at um, some plastic EEPROM chips and we do have some uh, MOSFET chips. Um, now these chips, they come off of um, computer boards and they're in the they're in the family of the memory EEPROM it means uh, erasable programmable uh, read only memory so that means you can download and write memory on these chips you could also uh, erase memory from these chips and reprogram them uh, this one specifically is a 28 pin EEPROM chip um, now from a scrap perspective, I would recommend these chips once you come across these chips. A lot of them are not reusable, but this this is a MOSFET chip, a ROM chip. These chips right here, these are um, these come up off a of board, but we could reuse these chips. So I would recommend guys to um, Specifically with the EEPROM chips, and these are new right here, just to be specific. Um, I will post these on eBay or Craigslist, and instead of trying to extract the, you know, what little gold it has in them, they do carry gold inside of these chips. There's another chip inside, but um, but from a scrap side of things, I will just bundle these up as many as you can um, they go from the scrap side in price um, they go for about you know roughly four dollars and fifty cent a pound depending on where you're located at in your area um, they could be much more you know um, or less three dollars minimum or you could sell um, these on eBay for um, three to four dollars a piece or more um, or you can just sell them in lots so I think you would make more money by selling them on eBay but if they're just worthless you know you can still put them in um, on eBay and just uh, bundle them up and get you know uh, depending on how many pounds of it you get and extract from these boards um, you can get you know hundreds of dollars depending on how many pounds you have of it so but with these EEPROM chips I just want you guys to not throw these out um, these specifically are plastic EEPROMs and the main ones you want to look for in these chips are are the ceramic um, I don't have a ceramic at this time um, I can go grab a board and show you one but um, the ceramic one has a, a little plastic window on top and you can see the chip inside so that's the difference and those are a lot more money so keep in mind um, the difference between the plastic and the ceramic and you also have um, yeah I'm gonna take this off I wanted to give Tech Heroes a shout out to my buddy David who owns Tech Heroes alright now on this board here's the EEPROM and here's six of those right there so if I put heat to this board or other ways people have been recommending using um, sand and other maneuvers various techniques you can use uh, to safely extract these pins off of these boards these are memory chips right here so keep in mind these do possess gold inside these chips so once I heat this board as you can see in my video uh, check out my other video you'll see how I take all of these everything off 
of these boards and the boards are still worth um, a lot of money so keep the boards of course because the boards do have gold and silver inside and some platinum and other precious metals so always keep the board and stack those up but you want to extract everything off of here you know you even have um, resistors on these boards that are worth money everything on these boards are worth money so these are electrolytic capacitors right here those are worth money um, even these things if you take them off and pile them up together they're worth money the connections because um, they have gold plated pins inside of them and others have some you know uh, aluminum pins so keep in mind these primes are worth good money and if you're just extracting them off the boards keep them pile them up separately separate your plastic ones which these are and put them in a separate batch and um, put your ceramics in a different batch and you can make a lot more money with those being separated like that so here are some rum myth mosfets these things are worth money as well so keep in mind when you extract those off of the board separate them and put them in um, different piles these are these are these have high demand so for you know guys who like to uh, smelt and extract um, pieces off of a computer board as you can see I do collect go myself um, but I just try to go about it doing it um, a faster way versus uh, trying to incinerate these and take by taking the plastic off and get into you know what little amount of gold is in there but if you're patient enough and that's what you your aim is to do you know hey keep it up you know because one day you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of gold out of those things if you come across you know as many as um, I do but um, that's what I wanted to show you guys for today um, always stack these things up and these are different shapes and sizes you know you have a 10 you count the pin on one side you had a 20s you had 14 on one side and make it a 28 pin you know and so on so, um, check out my other videos, um, see how I extract these off of the boards, and give me a comment, questions, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Well, let me show you these, my fist right here, those are good ones. Okay guys, like, comment, subscribe especially, thank you.